and welcome to another video from Tech Straight. So, what's up, Tex? I am responding to a request uh, from Sandro Franco. So, shout out to you uh, for asking some good questions about the Nike Plus running app. Um, I had not had a chance to try it out, so I went ahead and took it on a test run. So this run and this video is for you. Uh, you left me a comment that said, nice video. Uh, first one on YouTube was a real exercise. Let me ask you this. Um, and you mentioned that you have an iPhone 6 and uh, use the running app. Um, and wanted to know uh, if you compare the iPhone 6 with the Gear S. I don't believe that you can. I don't have an iPhone 6 to try that out um, but I, as far as I know you can only use the Gear S with uh, Samsung devices um, I have used previous Gear devices like the Gear 2 with other Android devices um, by manually downloading uh, the uh, Gear Manager application to other Android devices so it is possible to uh, potentially use the Gear S with another uh, device like um, say another Android device that's not a Samsung but I don't think you can use it with an iPhone 6 um, but also you mentioned um, trying out the Nike um, running app with the Gear S so I went ahead and did that for you because I do have the ability to do that and so I'm gonna make this video for you and everybody else uh, that has been tuning into the videos and um, so that was your next question. Um, you said there is a Nike Plus running app in the watch. Did you have a chance to use it? So at the time I made the first video, I had not tried it out yet because um, I usually use the S Health apps. So I figured I would give it a try. And it was actually pretty cool. Um, so you also mentioned um, how can I upload the Nike Plus data from the watch to the Nike website? If you have a Samsung phone, uh, you can do anything. But with an iPhone, I'm afraid uh, to have my exercises stuck in the watch. Uh, so I will not buy one. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. So I appreciate that comment. That was really cool. You definitely sparked some good questions there. Prompted a pretty cool video, I'm thinking. So here is uh, my review of the Nike Plus running app. So here's my... Gear S and my Note 4. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out real quick. All right, so here on the Note 4, turn the brightness up just a bit. On the Note 4, uh, let's go check out the Nike Plus running app. So I took it for a run and uh, you can see um, a couple different things here. Let's see what we have. All right, so there is the run that I took it on. It actually says I went on two runs, but I actually just turned on the runner uh, for a second just to see how everything worked. So one run wasn't actually really a run. Um, now I didn't take my phone with me because I wanted to see how the the at the the runner would work without a phone strapped to me because I'm not a big fan of having a phone strapped on my arm while I'm running. Um, so this is actually information uh, from the watch. So that was really cool. Um, so what you're seeing right now is actually data that was given to me from the watch to the phone and also uh, to answer your question I was able to uh, view the data on the website as well so that was really cool too um, so let's check out um, let's check out what happened in the app um, right here is the running app you can see um, that it shows in the app I ran 1.35 miles um, as you know, in my last video, when I reviewed the S Health app, 
um, it said that I ran 1.5 miles. So there is a little bit of a difference between, you know, the distances read, and that's kind of normal. Even with GPS, between different apps and different devices, a lot of times you will have a little fluctuation in the distance. Um, I did see there was some calibration um, that you could do in the Nike running app. So if you know that there is a certain distance you're running and you know exactly how many miles that is, you can put that in and, and do a calibration for that. So that was a pretty neat thing that I saw. One thing that I didn't like about this particular app compared to S Health is that it doesn't keep track of your heart rate uh, while you're running. I think that it's really cool to be able to keep track of that um, just so you can see you know how much cardio you're getting and you know certain points in your run you know what parts of that track is really working you good and because uh, I actually do a run in the hills of Kentucky uh, here in the US so um, a lot of inclines so uh, it definitely works you really well so it's nice to see those um, you know those spots but it did however give me um, spots in my run that were um, uh, some people refer to it as a heat spot um, you'll see here in the video when I pull it up on the website it's going to show us um, places in the run um, red spots um, where I more my pace slowed um, and those are inclines and when I actually tried out an app called Runtastic with the Moto 360 uh, which is what's on my wrist I might do a review of this watch uh, later on this runs Android Wear um, this app Runtastic um, actually um, kept track of uh, more uh, things like incline you know like it let me know that one of the hills that I went up was a uh, 100 feet you know that I went up an incline so that was interesting but back to the Nike Plus running app um, you know this was a really cool app I was pretty impressed with it um, because it, it kept track of my run it also allowed me to um, play music uh, that was already on my device I could just swipe over um, and because when I started my run um, it just allowed me to swipe over. You can also connect to Facebook with it uh, right from the watch. Um, the cool thing about it was even after I got away um, from my phone and it said Bluetooth disconnected, um, it attempted to connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, so I stepped a little further away just to make sure I wasn't connected uh, to my Wi-Fi. And it went ahead and connected to my 3G and it also connected to GPS and so here here's what it looks like I'll go ahead and and just begin a run even though it's gonna kinda mess with my statistics on my profile I might just create a new one so you got play music you can click yes um, connect to Facebook um, I, I just skip that because you know it's just not not for me um, so there you have it and so it will tell you, you know, that it's, uh, it tells you the time and, and all that. And so there it's going. And it looks like it's actually playing through my Bluetooth headphones that are sitting off to the side probably. Um, I might even throw up a video I never have posted yet um, of some really cool Bluetooth headphones. Um, the Motorola um, HD headphones, the S11s. Um, they're pretty cool. Uh, I believe that was the, the name of those. I'll throw those up if I get a chance. I actually did a video unboxing of them, um, but they're a really good set. They work with, seem to work great with all the Samsung gear devices, um, So and they did work with these, so I was really happy about that because I already had a pair. They're great for running. They got full HD quality sound, um, so I've been using those for quite some time. Uh, so you can see here that... Um, you know it's showing me where I'm at um, and that I'm not actually going anywhere because I'm not running so let's stop this and that way it doesn't think I'm being lazy so you can um, it's run is paused you can you know start it again 
Um, it says that it's keeping track of my heart rate. Maybe it did. Um, so let's stop it. And there you have it. So there's one of the watch faces. Um, you know, that I didn't really go over a lot of those in the, the last review. Um, those are things that you can look at if you purchase this watch. But I've definitely been really impressed with this watch. Um, you know, there, there's definitely a lot to offer with it. And it really impressed me that it's got uh, so many capabilities, you know, independently without the phone. Um, and this particular watch face, this particular watch face really looks nice. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and we'll take a look at the, um, the computer and see what kind of stuff transferred over to the website and uh, that way you can see what um, what stuff goes from the watch to the website so to answer some questions um, the only issue that I could really see if you buy this watch and you're an iPhone user the problem is in order to install things and do certain things with this watch you have to have some type of an Android device most likely you're going to be better off with a Samsung uh, to actually install certain things. So um, even though you could transfer your run um, from the Nike, um, you would really need a, you know, you, you could transfer it from the, the app on the watch to the website very easily. The problem is to do the initial setup, you're going to need, you know, a Samsung uh, Android device to really get started with everything and you know keep up with installs and updates on your watch so my advice would be um, and my advice always is because I'm really an Android user um, would be you know give up the iPhone and get an Android or be like me and get you know multiple devices for different things um, I, I tried out an iPad for a few days and I ended up selling it um, and I and you know actually a lot of times you can get pretty much what you paid for stuff by selling it on eBay I recommend using the auction instead of buy it now um, so that's something to think about um, I recommend Samsung devices very highly um, I've been happy with every single Samsung device that I have bought so far and I do not get paid to promote Samsung I promise um, but I also have been pretty happy with this Moto 360 you know it actually runs Android Wear so it's totally different than the gear. The gear runs Tizen, so it's a completely different setup, but I, I like it pretty well. The only thing about it is it does not have any type of speaker or anything like that. Um, it does not, it, it has no capability for calling or, you know, things like that. It does have some things about it that I like better than the gear, but overall, the Gear S is a superior device. Um, Samsung is always ahead of the game um, they always have the better device you know for the power user um, it always comes down to the fact that Samsung always has more features um, they just always all around top of the line in the specs the processor the RAM and the hardware all the way around the better quality video um, the better quality display just all around Samsung's hard to beat so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the Nike Plus website and let's take a look at my profile and see what we got from the watch to the website okay so we're back and we're taking a look at uh, the Nike Plus running app uh, website uh, we're doing the review on all of it uh, so here is a, a look at um, YouTube and the comments that were left on the previous video and uh, so I want to thank you guys for leaving some good comments and uh, taking a look at the previous video so uh, shout out to all of you we appreciate your uh, likes and all of that and uh, watching tech straight and so let's take a look at the Nike website. All right, 
So there we go. Let's take a look. And I'm already signed in. Uh, so you guys, you just need to create an account. You can actually sign in through Facebook or however you want to do that. Um, uh, I went ahead and just created an account. Uh, there's some benefits to doing it that way. Uh, so you got a couple different things you can click on here. You can go to dashboard uh, and view that. So there's my run. Uh, take a look at that. It was pretty cool how that just did that. It showed my run track. Uh, so you can see uh, some hot points um, there, some red spots. So you can see I started out, uh, went down, and back. So on the way back, you can see uh, some red spots. So those are the spots where my pace slowed um, quite a bit, especially right here. I was going directly uphill, some really steep inclines right there. Uh, the run got very difficult. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see that, um, just the way that the that the map um, keeps track of your pace like that. So it's kind of nice to see where that pace changed. I thought that was a really cool um, feature in the app. And uh, so I thought it was cool to see some other features um, that you can check. You know, like it asked me how I felt when I was done, um, you know, and... You know, like it asked me, you know, how do you feel? Gave me some some icons to click on, one of which was unstoppable. I felt pretty unstoppable after that run. Felt pretty great. It allowed me to play some music that I had on my device, just like I did on the other run uh, that, that I put in the last video. So that was pretty cool. I thought it was nice to have that music integrated, um, just like in S-Help. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um it probably take me a little time to get used to the app, but I like the fact that you can look at it on the website. I think that's really cool. Now with S Health, you cannot do that. Um, there's a few features that S Health has that this doesn't, of course, um, but that's you know kind of goes with the territory. You know, some apps have some things and some don't. But I've been pretty impressed with this so far. Uh, it's something I'm definitely considering switching over to. Um, so. Let's take a look at uh, one of the other tabs here. Uh, so it, it lists me as two runs with an average. Now, one of those runs I actually wasn't running. I just turned on the run and sat still because I wanted to see what it was actually like. So um, we're just taking a look at um, one run really here. So 147 calories, uh, average pace, uh, distance 1.3, duration 14.5, 14 minutes 57 seconds. And um, so that's pretty cool. You get to look at all that. Uh, you get to take a look at the places. Um, you get to, you know, go to all these different things. The thing that I really liked the most was just this um, track right here. I really like to see where my pace slowed and everything else here. I thought it was really cool um, and I think it's nice that I can let this information follow me on no matter uh, what device I'm on or where I'm at. So um, that is really cool. And so there is my review of the uh, Nike Plus running app on the Samsung Gear S smartwatch. I've been very impressed with the watch, very impressed with the app. Um, and I hope that answers some of your questions. And uh, once again, we do appreciate all of the comments on the last video. So um, we do appreciate you tuning in to Tech Straight as always. And uh, please like and subscribe. And also comment on this new video. Uh, feel free to ask questions. I'll try to get to those if I can. And uh, also look forward to some more videos. And if you want to see more, Definitely leave me a comment um, and leave some questions if you got some ideas for some more videos related to uh, any of these devices. Hopefully we'll have some for the Moto 360 um, in the near future. Maybe do a comparison between the two watches. So if you got some questions about that, uh, feel free to throw those in the comments. Uh, definitely be looking forward to those questions. So uh, thanks for tuning in to Tech Straight. And remember, as always... You techs, keep your tech straight and keep fit. See ya.